What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more exciting Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, I just finished editing uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom versus episode, so that's still kind of on my mind. Um, whoa, hello, Mr. Spider. Die! So you can come down? Did it just die up there? What the heck? I thought you'd come down and fall and such, but no, that didn't happen. Anyways, last episode, we finished off the forest temple minus the boss, and it sucked because I always like to finish an episode on a boss. Although that's not true, we didn't do that for um, ba -ba 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 -ba, the Dongo's Cavern now, did we? Anyways, everything stays all open, so it's all fantastic. We do have the boss key, correct? We do. We have everything in here. See, how, see where the forest temple says, and to the left of it, there's a, there's a golden skull chilla? That means we have gotten all the golden skull shells in the temple. I have not shown that yet, so I figured I might as well do that. Let's go inside! Oh no, I know what boss this is. Oh god. Oh no. And this isn't just me, like, acting either. Seriously, this boss gives me so much trouble. Let's go see. Just kidding, there's no boss. <laughs> it's really weird and ominous, because, like, you walk in here expecting to fight a boss, and there's just nothing. There's all these Triforce symbols on the ground. There's just these weird, really strange paintings. You picture, like, Pose coming out of them or something, but there's nothing. You don't have to look up, like, for Goma. Oh, that roof looks kind of cool. I mean, there's seriously nothing we could do here. So I guess let's just head back out. Wait a minute. <gasps> okay, I was kidding about there's no boss. Seriously, this is freaking Zelda game. Oh my ghosts! I mean, not ghost, it's, it's Ganondorf and on his horse. How do you get a horse in here? I don't freaking know. How do you get his horse down the elevator? <gasps> yeah, it's actually a ghost, I kind of spoke, sorry. <laughs> it's weird, it's like a weird skull bunny thing. Look, look, it has ears. Evil spirit from beyond, Phantom Ganon. This boss gives me a lot of trouble. Holy crap, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. I only have 22, 21 arrows, my apologies. Okay, there he goes. Yeah. Oh, that actually worked. Okay, great. Phew. Bye, bitch. Bye, batch. <laughs> Is he come? Oh, he's just coming back. Okay, he just kind of turned around. He's like, turn around. Whoa, what? Okay, so he tries to dupe you out. Whoa, wait, what? He tries to dupe you out by going to two places at once. Let's see if I can get him to do it here. Okay, so that's. Okay, they're like polar off. No, they're not. Uh, it's that one. All right. Ah! Dang it! Oh, but we can lock onto him. Oh, I didn't realize we could do that. Oh, hold my good lord! Do we have fairies? We do not. This is gonna be tough. In fact, I might even die. I, I don't. Where's he coming from? There, there. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> I miss. Oh my! Oh, thank God his attack missed. Oh, yeah, this boss gives me a lot of trouble, as I was <laughs> saying. Oh, God, I'm scared. I guess I might have better luck doing it like that. I wonder if I can hit him while he's still in the painting. It looks like it's kind of lenient about Dang it! I no, stop it! We don't have any arrows to lose here. Stop it, Chris. Stop it. Where's the other? Where's the other one? He's right there. Oh, no. Dang it! <laughs> okay. Whew. Thankfully, we dodge his attack. It seems if you move to the left or right a little bit, it seems to work pretty well. He always hits the center. It's kind of like a shockwave kind of thing. Is that going to be that one? It is. Like, can we hit him right now? Dang it! Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Did you see one's eyes there? Holy crap, that was scary. We can only get hit uh, three more times and then we're dead. Like, holy crap. This is really difficult, actually. <laughs> I can't move that quick, game! DUDE! That should have hit me, to be honest. Oh, I was pressing buttons and wasn't letting me leave the arrow screen. So, man, I should not have drawn this arrow. Is it gonna be you? Please be you, yes. Can I hit it from the- Oh, I can! Oh, no! What the heck? Hit him with the arrow! Uh, uh, what, Navi? Phantom again! It's an evil ghost from the forest temple! He comes out of one of the pictures! Yeah, I know. Answer his magic attacks with one of your- I don't have a magical attack. What are you talking about, Navi? <sighs> Fine. 
Okay, so he does all this cool stuff. And seriously, these poles need to get on my way, please. Whoa! I got no chance to respond there. Oh, no! Oh, oh. No, 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 no! Oh, my God. I'm so scared because I can only hit, be hit twice more, I think. I don't know how powerful this tank is. I'm assuming it's the same amount of power as this is. All right, so if you, you can actually use your bottle. Oh, it only does one hard damage. That's still pretty bad, though. Can we hit him with our arrow? It does not seem to be... Say, say! Okay, our arrows do nothing on it. Okay, I confirm. Confirm. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. There we go. Uh, I don't like this. I hate this tennis stuff. It sucks, actually. Uh, just, just jump attack him and hope for the freaking best. He's out of the barrier right now, but that's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we just... I need to back off for a second here, dude. Yeah, da, 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 da. Uh, oh my god, okay, I'm getting really lucky right now. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't jump like that. The camera's all weird. I was pressing straight on my control thing, but it wasn't registering. And I am shocked we did this on our first try. Holy crap. You can probably hear the Ted says my voice. Hey, kid. You did quite well. It looks like you may be getting some slight skill. It's all holy and such. But you have only defeated my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. I don't know. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I'll banish it to the gap between dimensions. Uh, okay. Bye. It's only a ghost. So, you know, screw it. I hated it. I hate it. I hate the ghost. Holy crap, okay, that was stressful. I didn't even consider how difficult this boss would be until the very last second of getting in here. Oh my good lord. That was stressful. Whew. See, the thing is, the bosses in this game are pretty freaking difficult. The first three weren't really... What was the boss in... Um, the, 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 the Jabu Jabu? Oh yeah, it was that... That weird thing. <laughs> You know the weird thing? Oh, sorry, his voice. I don't know. Oh, crap. I spoiled it. Ah, uh, I mean, what is that? Sorry, his voice. There we go. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I don't think I gave her a special voice, did I? I am sorry. Oh, thank you for introducing yourself. Thank you. Look at her face right now. <laughs> How come everyone in this game just looks seriously like just high? They, they just look like they're on drugs? Like, look at, look at her face! She just looks so... Like, she guess she looks more mellowed out right now. I don't know. <laughs> the Sage of the Forest Temple. I am sorry, I, and it should have been an apostrophe... Or a comma, I mean, instead of a period, because the sentence wasn't a complete sentence. I always believed you would come. Gross. Because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it... Is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. Aww, that's sad. Okay, she doesn't look as bad from this angle. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now, please take this medallion. Uh, why must everyone lift their hands? Wee! And so what? She's just gonna hang out with um, Raru now over here. We got a hubcap. As Luka Jin would say. <laughs> Good link, stupid happy face. So happy. You received the Force Medallion. Sorry, awakens of the Sage and adds a power to yours. Thank you, Navi. Thank you very much. Sorry, will always be your friend. Well, I don't know if she's talking about herself in the third person or if Navi's telling me that. It feels kind of weird. It'd be kind of weird for Navi to tell me that. Wait, why are we here? What's that? It's a little plant. That's kind of... With two leaves. It's like cartoon characters with one hair. Why are you looking so close? It's a, it's a plant. You live in a forest link. Whoa! There's a leaf coming out of its mouth. I don't know what I said before. It's like a farmer. Well, now I know the voice I'm giving you. Howdy, y'all! I'm the Deku Jay's bro! Because you and Saria broke the curse on the forest temple, I can grow and flourish! That's way doing it back, you! Thanks a lot! Uh, yep. <laughs> hey! Have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's, how do you know this? 
Seriously, you were just bored! That's because the Kokiri never grew up! Even after seven years, they're still kids! You must be wondering why only you have grown up! Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri! You're actually a Hylian! I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you! What do you mean, finally? You were just bored! You crazy little beady-eyed fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Is this like the third time we've seen this? Uh, who's telling me this? Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified the country, there was a fierce war in our world. Is this Navi? No, it has to be him. Or the Deku Tree Sprout. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and a baby boy entered the Forbidden Forest. A Hylian mother? What? The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. Oh, sure, let a tree take care of the baby. Great idea. The Deku Tree can sense that. This was a child destiny whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. How? It's a freaking tree! How do we take him anywhere? Can he just uproot himself and walk around with his roots? After mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now, finally, day of destiny has come! I have the most annoying voices ever. <laughs> Why was that in flames for? I guess, well, I guess to show the war, kind of. You are a Hylian, and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny! So you know what you must do? That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule! Now, Link, break the curses of all the temples and return peace to Hyrule! Ah, <sighs> if, if I must. Maybe if I see you in another game, I will remember your voice and use the same voice. That would be amazing, and I actually really hope I do remember to do that when I eventually play Wind Waker. Hi there! I'm Deku Tree Sprout! Because you and Saria broke the curse on the forest temple, I can grow and flourish! Thanks a lot! So maybe he was just kind of in a state where he could only be like, not even a sprout, but like, have his little, have the top of him just sticking out. So I guess what this means, I mean, my best guess as to why he knows that information is probably because like all the information that Deku Tree once knew got transferred to him. And why is there a beam of light shooting through the top of it? <laughs> the Deku Tree? Uh, I, that's my best guess though, because I mean that kind of makes sense. I mean he's kind of he's the child of the Deku Tree, but maybe he's more than maybe he is the Deku Tree reincarnate. I guess so he kind of already has he retained all the information. That'd be my best guess, anyways. Is it all happy fun times here? Oh really? I don't know all the enemies leave here once- Oh, that's neat. I feel like I've known you for a long time, mister. Well, you. Do. Ooh, rupees I don't need. Great! <laughs> uh, alright, that's cool. I didn't actually know all the monsters disappear once you beat this place. Huh. Now that the Deku Tree Sprout is growing and the Great Deku Tree's Meadow, the forest has returned- How do you know this? Seriously, that tree just, like, sprouted out of the ground just as I got there. There's no way anyone could know that besides me. Dude. Link! I wonder if you will come back. Oh, I thought he was actually addressing me. Lol, well, that's probably why that text was made that way. To make it look like he knew who I was. Although, he doesn't. Huh. It's so really cool to me how we could actually see this stuff from here. I mean, it's not really impressive for today's standards. For when the time this game came out, it probably was pretty impressive that you could like see that area or something. Hey, Apona still stuffing her head in the rock face cliffside. Good job, Apona. I knew I could count on you. So the question is, where the heck are you going to? Seriously, you got stuck on that. Just freaking lift your foot, Apona. Sheesh, Kaboogers, do I have to show you everything? Sheesh. Okay, you know what? Let's let's actually consult Navi. No. Okay. Oh, Navi doesn't even want to talk to me. Well then. <laughs> we were already at Talon Lon Ranch, were we not? Also, why are these trees dead? I mean, if this is the Kokiri Fortune, like, everything forest related would probably be thriving. I mean, the town itself is thriving now again, but I mean, those trees should be cut down or something? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Well, we took on the Forest Temple first, or we took on the Deku Tree first at the beginning of the game. And, and like we just took on the forest temple, so maybe the next one is the fire temple, like the Goron city, or in that area. 
mean, that kind of makes sense to me, right? Because, like, uh, we did the forest, and then we did the fire, and then we did the water when we were a child. Maybe we have to do it in the same order? Maybe? I don't really freaking know. Maybe. I'm just kind of going on a guess here. Uh, just because I don't want to go in here when it's nighttime. We have 50 skull chills! Holy crap! That's cool. Um, the song of storms, no. Sun song. Down. Okay, gotcha. There we go. Actually, I almost forgot about it for a second. I had to stay silent there so I'd actually remember it. <laughs> I wasn't reciting it in my head. Really? Oh, wait, never mind. You're fine. It's all good in the hood. I wasn't reciting my head, but I knew if I said anything else, I would have forgotten it. Holy crap, we're already at 60 minutes. We could have probably have to end this off in a second then. Actually, why don't we do that right now? We took on fat, fat, and fat, and fat, and Dan, and holy crap, what was that? Did I just have a stroke? Jeez. Okay, we took on Phantom Ganon, we watched a cutscene, we watched another cutscene, and another cutscene! And it's really all we accomplished in this past quarter hour. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of... Let's play Ocarina of Time. In the next episode... We'll, well, we already... I was gonna say we'll explore Kekrika Village, but we kind of already did that, so we should probably go check out Grown City or something. What's that in the sky? Oh, just a... That's weird. There's like cracks in the sky. Hopefully my capture card picks that up. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we go... I'm gonna hate myself when I edit this, because I'm like, Oh, why don't you just end the episode so I can stop editing Chris? Ugh. Uh, we might as well go collect our prizes, because past 50 golden sculptures, I think that that's the second last prize you get, and the last one is at 100, so... I'm so happy everyone is back to normal. No, you're not back to normal. Don't lie to me. The curse has been broken. Thank you. He is a reward for you. Bomb chews. You got, you got bomb chew. <laughs> it's not like you got 50 bomb chews or anything. You got bomb chew. I'm so happy everyone is back to normal. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. A heart piece! Yay! You got the heart piece at 50 golden sculpture, so I guess the other one was from 40? I think that's it, right? I'm so happy everyone's back to normal. You say anything different now that I've saved everyone but you? Thank you for saving my kids. Those are your kids? Huh, I thought they were just your friends or something, or your cousins or anything. What? Me? Oh, that's okay. You have already destroyed 50 spiders of the curse so far, so that's fine. Don't worry about me. Aww, he's so depressed. That's really sad. That actually does make me want to save him. Aww, he does, you can just tell. He, like, he really doesn't want to be saved. He's just happy his children are saved. That's really sweet. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!